Steve, you must be uh, excited by the challenge of working with such a young list. Yeah, look, that's a fantastic list. Um, some really young, exciting talent that we've got a chance to work with. Uh, very enthusiastic, just want to get better and um, you know, really striving to get, go forward and, and improve. And uh, obviously coming to a big club, how do you sort of view that sort of, I suppose, pressure of expectation and excitement around that? Oh, look, I, there's all those sort of uh, peripheral stuff, but I'm really keen and excited about the opportunity. It's a big club, um, some really great people within who've got really high skills. Uh, opportunity for me to learn off them and see how they go about their business as well as try and make my own imprint of what we're trying to do. Um, but I can't be anything but um, positive with the support I've received from the club so far. There's a, yeah, sorry. There's a lot of hype around Collingwood always, you know, they played in the first game, they've underperformed, you would think. What's it going to take for this for this women's team to realise its potential, do you think? Oh, I think there's generally an uh, element of belief, same as any most uh, successful sporting teams, is getting that belief ingrained mm. and, and that, but we're just all about trying to get better with each session. We've mm. got some um, goals where we're trying to... Uh, to tick off as we go along, but we're just striving to get better. Mm. Um, we think there's a general belief as the group get um, closer and get more familiar with each other. A lot of them have been now 12 months mm. playing together, so we've got a bit of a core group that have been there together for a bit of time now, so that's a chance for them to um, start to work on that and build from there. Mm. And you mentioned uh, about having, bringing your imprint to the program. I mean, what uh, sort of things that you want to inject into the program that are your strengths? Look, I'm really, um, I'm really big and strong on culture, so certainly want to try and use that as our foundation that we uh, we work from. Um, it's a real strong place that we really work hard, but also have elements where we really enjoy what we're doing as well. Um, really promote a real positive environment, so uh, making sure the girls are really positive what they're doing and, and really getting a sense that they're striving and moving forward with each session. Um, how much change do you see that might be necessary um, between seasons yeah, look, we've, we've tweaked a lot of the program. Um, there's some pretty um, key element changes that we've made within the program. Uh, the way we train is you know, changing as well. Our game style will change. We'll um, probably play a fairly upbeat style next year. So um, um, certainly elements there that we've really looked at. Uh, we've gone through and had a real good review about what's happened in the past and sort of uh, the elements and experience I've brought in from um, certain areas. Um, yeah, we think we've got a program that we've put in place that will move forward. Yep. What does Bree Davey bring in? Uh, Bree's um, one, a quality uh, person for a start. Mm. That's the number one thing that we're looking for, but uh, not only does she bring the, that side, she's a fantastic footballer. Mm. Um, Collingwood obviously uh, struggled a little bit in contested possession last year and uh, Bree certainly to a certain element can solve that in a way herself, it's a, her strength of the game, but uh, so she brings that element to our game, but she's also a real good quality leader. Um, mm. She's really strong on standards, has a real good internal belief, which passes on to the group as well. So, um, um, and as I said before, she's a quality person, so uh, uh, above all else, she brings that quality to the group. In terms of leadership, would uh, Bree be, I know Steph's been a captain, um, would Bree be a candidate for a leadership role, if not captain? Yeah, look, we're going to be um, looking through our uh, leadership group for next year. Um, we're looking at the training track first to see who's sort of sticking their hand up. We'll have a pretty thorough process, uh, an interview pro process for people uh, who want to put their hands up to do that, and we'll then uh, go through that. Look, um, Bree's obviously uh, uh, got leadership qualities, there's no doubt about that, so whether she's in a leadership role or, or not, she'll still bring those elements to the, to the team anyway. And Steve, uh, Chloe Malloy, obviously she'll be like a virtual through the VFLW, how have you seen her progress and how she tracking? It's going really, really well. Um, obviously, a bit of nerves playing VFLW, getting back into it after having 12 months off, but she got through that and we've seen her form steadily progress has gone through. Uh, we had our first session on the track officially last night and look, um, we did a 2K for a start and she ran really, really strongly. She looks really confident. Um, looks like she's really enjoying being around the place and wants to be here and I know talking to her as well she's really determined to have some success uh, and is pretty keen to help drive that. Just on the captaincy, Steph's one of the real established captains in the, in the AFLW, is, is, is it more likely that she'd stay or is it genuinely an open thing that you know you might change the captaincy and you know what does Steph think about this or this? Uh, look, um, being pretty open and transparent with the group that even for playing positions 
we're all at the starting line at the same time, so right. everyone's starting together. Mm. Um, it's a moment where we've drawn a line in the sand about where we are. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, we'll move forward from there. Look, Steph's got great leadership qualities mm. um, and that that we all recognise. She's a great human being. Mm. Uh, she's got a real caring nature and she wants to be, wants to be successful. So um, obviously that puts her in a pretty strong position to be yeah. a leader within our club. So, mm. uh, um, but again, the players will have a say on that. Yeah. Um, our coaching group and um, uh, the board will have a stay all towards that, but um, mm. look, Steph obviously be a really strong candidate again. And she wants it? Yeah, I yeah. believe so, So, yeah. um, and I really hope so. Yeah. Um, she's indicated to me that she does, and um, um, she's, she still thinks she's got elements of her leadership that she still wants to improve on and mm. uh, still wants to continue to grow, so uh, um, I think as a coach and as a club we've got to give people uh, an opportunity to keep, continue to grow. And just again, following on from Ben, it would be fair to say that Bree, you would think, would have some sort of formal leadership role just because of you know her background. Pardon me, her background and the, and the sort of person and player she is. Yeah, again, the skill set that Bree brings in brings those characteristics. So mm. uh, when we go through our interview process and uh, observations, we'll tickle go through all those boxes. Um, but with Steph as well, you know, they're two really strong candidates. There's no doubt. Yeah. Have you got any uh, pre-season camps planned? Or anything like that? Yeah, we've got one um, just before we break uh, to go to Christmas, so we decided to book in the last weekend before we uh, officially break um, to do uh, a bit of work together as a team, just to uh, get to know each other a little bit more, uh, put a bit of work in, but um, basically leave the foundation going into the Christmas break that we've unified, gone together, and we hit the break afterwards going full ball into the season. Where are you? Uh, well, we've got a little destination booked. We've kept a little bit um, secret to the girls at the moment because they've been asking 10 million questions about it. Um, we've just locked them in for dates and times and uh, we'll let it progress from there. What's your take on um, after Ferrugia's retirement, which is premature, you had Darcy Vesio saying yesterday that there is this building problem because of the growing commitments in the league that you know women who are not professional are going to have to make that call. What's your take as a, as a coach? Yeah, look, I think um, we all want to see um, the girls end up being in a professional environment at some stage. Yeah. Um, I, I guess the, um, the signing off the CBA of late um, has made steady progress towards that and mm. uh, the, the league, I assume, will steadily take steps towards that. Um, I personally understand that um, the league's in its early stages and mm. still trying to develop and find yep. its feet. Um, and these things take a little bit of time, but no doubt eventually we'll get to that stage. And um, um, myself coming from a state league background mm. originally before, um, particularly from the male side of things where, and the girls of late, they're putting as many hours in yeah. as well and, um, and trying to juggle that. It's, it is a hard task and mm. certainly you respect um, the players doing that. But uh, look, we're, we're taking little strides. Mm. Um, step by step, eventually they'll get there.